just a bloke in a bar. So you could still be going, just maybe like, you know, the game's not on, but... I'm going to start previewing next year now. Paddy oh. Carrigan might have walked here, yeah. potentially. This yeah. is where Tom and Eddie had a really fucking good night on the craps table. Yeah, yeah. right There's here. There's a plaque this table. for us there. This, there this bit in the airport's where they drunk Baileys. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. That sort of stuff. I mean, that's hard hitting. I think that's, that I think that moves the needle. Well, that's when you send your special investigators over there to get the real fucking, mm. the real pure stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just to unpack it, you yeah. know, you go over there like a detective, you know, and you and you get to work and you get what the lay of the land. How was Vegas, boys? Walk us through. Actually, sorry, before we get into it, Harrigan's Hotel and Cameron Park begin their footy and a fade tonight. Thirty bucks will get you a schooner, a bloke, and a haircut while watching Knights take on the Raiders. Get on down. I mean, I tell you, I'll tell you about a deal. Getting a haircut while a beer doesn't get much better than that. Footy in a fade. Footy in a fade. I like that. That's good stuff. Is That's it rugby just league. just 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 hair on the head or what? Uh, I'll have to look. I think it's per person. You just okay. have to ask a question. You ask. So you so if you go in there, ask, can you shave my balls? Just ask and see what they say. Ask. Right. Be uh, don't say that to a, a chick though. That's it. Oh yeah, no, I'd, I'd go to someone who already has balls and ask them. Yeah, as yeah. Opposed to, that's a ball to ball question. Yeah, you got to have balls to ask for your balls to be shaved yeah, by yeah. someone with balls. I think, and that's not a sexist thing. I don't want it to sound like I'm being sexist. I just think that's the smarter play. Well, it's, yeah. where, it's where you start. Yeah. But then, you know, if you were to ask another bloke with balls uh, if they were if they were happy to do it, and then you were in, you were told that maybe there was a female We've who usually some, does our, the balls yeah. stuff, then that's okay. Yeah. Then that's okay. That's great stuff. Uh, how was Vegas, boys? It's... It's a fucking weird place, Denon. <laughs> it's a really weird, weird place. It was... It was compared by our producer, or described by our producer rather, as the Easter show on steroids. Oh, that was the okay. that was the terminology okay. he used, which we were giggling at. We thought was really cute, and then Brian Fletcher said the same thing. So it maybe gave it was some, onto uh, something. Yeah, it gave some yeah. cachet. It's, it's to almost like an appeal comments. to authority kind of thing. Yeah, if Fletch yeah. can say that he comes from a position of authority of ripping and tearing. Yes, it, it's a fucking weird place designed to keep you awake and to take your money. <laughs> It, like, it, 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 it did both of those things very well. Oh, pump, it came back down. They're pumping fresh oxygen into that into the casinos over there. So you are just alert and bubbly and ready to fucking rock and roll. You can punch darts anywhere. <laughs> it felt like it was in the 80s. Yeah. You can smoke at a fucking table in a bar. They rock up to you with a tray of cigarettes. You can smoke at the table. Don't they just keep feeding you drinks as well? You if, you're playing, the bartenders. if you're playing, there's just free drinks. Oh. You've got to tip the bartenders like a buck or two. It's dangerous areas. Oh, my. Fucking dangerous, dangerous areas. You don't have to leave. We played craps for like five hours one night. <laughs> yeah. Didn't move. It was just too easy. Bringing you whatever fucking drinks you want. A couple of bucks. We were winning, so it was great. But the only way you've spent five tables on the, uh, like five hours at the craps table is you, either you're winning. They just handsomely. keep you there until you lose. Well, well, the thing is, you, you can stay there when you're losing, and we, we we as soon as we started losing, we fucked off the following night. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so is it down run. or up from the trip? We're down. Well, listen. substantially down. No, we, no, not substantially. not substantially. No, no. We, Considering we were fucked the first day. Yeah, well, you got substantially fucked the first day, but then you made back up. We as lost. They, like, we in lost about to how much we had gambled. Yeah, okay. We were down quite a lot, like more than you would think for like not many bets. <laughs> I reckon we lost about 25% of our budget. In the first night? No, all up. All up. That's yeah. all right. No, it's all right. So we were down pretty, we were down badly the first night, no, two nights. Well, the first bet. First, first bet. And then two, and then the first two nights we were fucking having a shock up, but the craps got us back big time. Oh, the craps got, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah. And then after that we didn't really play. No, we actually didn't do a shitload. We're hard workers. People think, oh, you guys are just over there ripping and tearing. It's like we fucking grinded our dicks to the bone. It's called the Nut Trucker bone. Tour. And nut Trucker Tour, exactly. We were trucking nut for the for the punter and the dribble back home who couldn't make it. Some say you, you didn't even want to go. You just did it for we the people. We, did we didn't want to go. go. I didn't want to go over there and, you know, have a great time, have a great time and, and hang out with my mate. And chat to the fucking, you know, the heavy hitters of rugby league and go to the Sphere. And, and watch I didn't want to go over there and watch my team win and I didn't want to, you know, win. gamble money and no. drink piss and... <laughs> Get to the you movie know, and Yahoo. Yeah. You know, used to, I mean, no one wants that. I didn't want to do that. Yeah. I didn't want to do that. But I did it because I was trucking nut on behalf of the hunter <laughs> and the dribbler. Yeah. As, uh, as indicated before we went, that's what we were going to do. Mm. Yeah. Uh, nut trucker trucker caps on sale next <laughs> Tuesday, the 12th of March. Yeah. Hellosport.shop, 6 p.m. If you've got a bit of nut trucker in you. <laughs> If you've got a bit of nut trucker in you, you're going to need the nut trucker. Well, you got some nut trucking to do. And the boys are down after nut trucking for you. The boys are down. Boys are down. Need your help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Need your help. This is a play to the dribbler. <laughs>
<laughs> fucking help us out. <laughs> No, but if you got if you got nut trucking to do, you'll need to wear this. If you've if you've got a bit of nut trucker about, you, you'll need this hat. It's as simple as that. I'll tell you what, if you're driving a truck with a nut trucker hat, yeah. that's almost like inception kind of areas. Yeah, we got a few truckies with Senate. I to. truck nut. Nah. <laughs> if you actually is that are a, a nice truck touch? driver, isn't that, that a nice touch? The cargo is nuts yeah. with that hat on. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. If you're out there driving around nuts or Steedens, then you're good to go. Imagine driving around Steed pumped up. That'd be the dumbest way to the dumbest use of space. But I would respect. Better to be the dribbliest. No, of course, I'd respect it. And you would like is a flat Steed and technically a nut. It's not really, is it? Not really. Well, it's got to be inflated. So that's why on the hat you'll see they are inflated (laughs) Steedens. We're not moving them around. On a scale of one to ten, where are the serotonin levels at, and how could you potentially fix the serotonin levels? It's, it's a great, great point, great and it, we've actually mused about this uh, on our podcast this morning. I've got to be, I've got to be completely honest with the punter and the dribbler, as honest as I can be. It feels wrong saying this <laughs> because I put my body through hell for the last seven days, ten days, and I, I didn't think I had it in me. I feel fucking terrific, absolutely fucking true. Oh, you could tell by looking at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Ella, my wife, shocked at how like how I look. My, Almost my came back fresh demeanor. Up. She's like, what the fuck? I thought you were going to be like a mess. Yeah. My trainer, Josh, this morning, bruh, you are in the nick of your life <laughs> right now. And I can only think <laughs> that it's because of me old mate, good day. I can only think that. Mm. What else could it be? Mm. Like, true. you know me pretty well. Am I pretty chipper? You're am I pretty up and down? I'm honestly surprised. I literally, when you walked in, I said, am, am I talking to the same Eddie as I was talking to two weeks ago, you said no, and I thought you were going to say, oh, I'm feeling down, no. I'm feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm back. feeling, I'm fucking believable. Kids up and about. You, ne- you just need someone to to give you a little helping hand along the way. Sometimes, yeah. Because otherwise you can slip down into like a pit of madness. <laughs> and that little that little friend's good day, it's as simple as that. And listen, like you could argue that over there, the nutritional intake oh my God. was not <laughs> maybe where it should be for like an operational human being to live day to day. What are your uh, thoughts on the- Chicken tender? What's the thought of on your before and after po- photo that has been posted in the Dribbler? Oh, yeah. oh that's a, it's a phenomenal shot. Now, listen, in fairness to me... <laughs> Do you reckon that's bo- a lighting thing? Well, the before shot... <laughs> you were there for 48 hours. <laughs> no, no, no. How no. does that happen? The before shot was a couple of weeks before, maybe. <laughs> if I can be. But, dude, you eat chicken tenders and, and burgers shit. and basically fucking having uh, never Bloody seen Marys for breakfast. <laughs> it's going to get its talons in you. Holy shit. I mean, you, you can't shy away from what is just a good old-fashioned rugby league vague. <laughs> Blowout. I the didn't kids know it was, blown all. The I didn't way know up. it was humanly possible to blow out that quickly. Oh, bro, oh on, yeah, come man. on. Son. And listen, I'll be honest with you. It caught me off guard. <laughs> I was like, that's got to be a light a lighting issue. The fo- is that the one with uh, with Dan? Is that the one where we're like when we're standing with Dan? Yeah. Like, Yo, oh, yeah. dude. Dude, that's a fuck. That's as tough as it looks. Tell you what. As tough as it. One gets. of the tough carries all time. We got to interview Dan Ganane, and Tom is quiet as a church. I man. basically wasn't there. He basically didn't say. <laughs> I was word. just sitting on the end of the couch, being like. Oh, fuck, dude. I've got nothing. <laughs> Trying to think of shit to say. Shout out to Dan for being a fucking professional. 100%. <laughs> um, but, mate, honestly, without this fucking shit over there, we would have been, good day, that is, we would have been all at sea. Well, because we, we have chicken pizza, tenders. Pizza, burgers, chicken tenders. We didn't get into a routine that allowed us to go, okay, it's lunchtime. Yeah, Let's go and get okay. lunch. No, oh, it's dinner time. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. go and get dinner. It was none of There's that. There's also no options, though. Even when it was like, okay, now let's, because we fucking pounded the room service into the core of the earth. It was there like, were options. We didn't look for them. No, but there weren't like, there wasn't like, we didn't, look, no, we didn't look for them. I did look for them. After when you did two, we, when I was, did, When did we go two, for dinner? You and I. We no, went no, for no, dinner no, no, twice. The, the room service. I was asking for room service. I was like, could I just get, honestly, just give me like a bowl of fucking vegetables just once, obviously with a side of burger, but like, <laughs> There was just no option there. But so, my point is, yeah. the room service was chicken tenders, pizzas, pasta, burgers, burgers that's it, steak sandwich. What was, the, what was, our, what was our eggs, uh, eggs Benedict? Eggs Benedict, real smacky stuff. We didn't put time aside yeah. to go to restaurants to eat dinners no, or okay. lunches. That's we where also, we fell apart, which is where though? this came in. We, uh, we did pack our runners and our exercise gear <laughs> and it's still folded in my un- unpacked I love I love the, um, I guess, the positive outlook that yeah. you would be able to do the that. The intention over. was yeah, there. And good. you know what? I felt a little healthier just thinking about being healthy. <laughs> After the first night, I'm like, there's no way that we're going to the gym. I don't know where it is. No, I didn't even look for it. I didn't look for it. I don't want to look for it. I can't, I, it's not, it's not. Well, there's a big UFC one that you probably were nearly near. 
It's not that close. We did go there. We actually went there to interview the Manly boys. Vegas we is deceptively late. big. As yeah. we arrived to the UFC PI, they were all on the bus leaving. We were like, this is embarrassing. Let's hide. We were waiting <laughs> out the front of it. Like, yeah, fuck. we're like, fuck that. <laughs> Whoops. We did hide. But it's. But listen, I, Denon, I just want to announce this is the first day of my comeback, though. Uh, obviously, <laughs> I did blow out. Comeback uh, 2024. Comeback 2024. I'm coming back. Have the what? Have you weighed yourself? I actually haven't. I'll do it. I'll let you know. Just a just a like a almost a, just to get some clarity on the words you're using. Come back mm. implies you were there at some point. Well, yeah, no, because I was. There was a period like oh. maybe during COVID when I lost like 15 kilos. That was a long time ago. COVID was <laughs> years ago. But we're in 2024. Well, exactly. So what a comeback, right? This is this is like you know four years out of the game sort of stuff. <laughs> Steroid cheat and whatever else, but now I'm I'm making my glorious comeback. And I have every intention to do so anyway, and so watch with <clears throat> bated breath. That's so you and the piss hole. Well, fuck! I'd love a bit of what the piss holes on. I'll tell you that much. If you can give me some of that, is the photo with Ganae and Rock Bottom? Is that is that the photo oh, you're using? Nah. Oh, as in like, should that be like my before? Yes. I don't know because I was so fucking hungover. I don't know if that's a fair. You're almost a, you're almost a little bit puffy. Yeah. That's why I don't know you necessarily like if I want to. stung by a bee. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I might just get it. a, I'll get a fucking before photo at home, shirt off. I think that's the best way to do it. I don't want to lean on that Ghanaian one. I feel like it's going to give me a false, it may make me feel better than a I am. A false door? A false yeah, door. Okay. Well, I will say boys, uh, I'm a, officially a subscriber of Good Day and the uh, purchase and the process of it all happening, very smooth, very good. A ride within, I think 48 hours max. Fuck yeah. No longer than 48 hours for sure. I was actually surprised when it arrived that quickly, if I'm being honest. No no disrespect. I appreciate you for buying some, Dan. You also don't need to, though. I want you to know that. Obviously, that's very kind of you, yeah, but we'd but be happy to provide you with some good day. Look, I feel like you got to support your mates. That's one thing I don't like, is that people want free shit from their mates, but then they go and buy shit from random people. Bit weird. So you, I think you should support it. Anyway, I'm a, a subscriber man. now. I get it. Come man. quickly. And actually, the little touches that I, I so when it come, it comes in a brown box, and I thought, these motherfuckers have honey dicked me into thinking, that that's what it looks like when yeah. it arrives. But then the little surprise, you open it up and the white box is in there, there and you, you got go. me good. Did yeah. you like the message? The quote that you... I can't remember it. Oh, okay, well, that's, that's, that's all right. That's, that's <laughs> I apologize. That's, that's okay. Nice Look, I was quote. too shocked by the fact But there that, is a little, there's a little message in there for the punter and the dribbler. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, and you, you know what? It's I like an Easter egg. It. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to spoil a, it. Not an actual Easter egg though. That's the old me. That's the old me. I won't be doing that. No Easter eggs for Tom. Begoodhealth.com.au. There you go. Code dribblers. And that wasn't even an ad. That was just explaining no. our lives. That's, That's just explaining our lives. Three best mates, Yana. <laughs> That's it. Um, but Vegas, in a nutshell, seven seven nights, way too long. Like, way, way, way too, too long. long. Four days, you four nights, you reckon? Four's probably too long. I think three's perf. Three nights. Is but then there's in the flight fucking sting you. So no, if like, I'm talking about time, like nights. Nights on the. On nights the on the. Because we got. It was basically six, because we got there late. The first night, we got there at 1 a.m. So that just doesn't Did you go really straight care. to bed or did you go out? We had a no. beer and then went to bed. Yeah. A couple of beers. Yeah, we didn't go straight. We were up till five. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'd forgotten that. <laughs> yeah. But I reckon three is max what you need there. Okay. Okay. Great it, time though. Him and Tobler clogged our uh, hotel, our, our hotel I was going to say, three times. after hearing the stuff that you were eating, and you know we had to call someone yeah. up to our hotel three separate times oh for unclogging shit. my mine was so the, the first <laughs> time i think it clogged well in fact i know when it clogged <laughs> like the, the the paper just sort of like congealed into a ball and i was like oh that's gonna be a problem and then flush it and it clogged and i was i'm smart enough to know when a shit is clogged you give it <laughs> one more and then you leave it yeah, yeah. tobler oh no the second time just keeps fucking oh. pounding that button till it's, it's a panic pump till it overflows, it overflows and starts flowing out onto the floor. Yeah, like it's over Flowing. It's over. I'm like, yeah, because you keep pressing the fucking button, mate. But yeah. like poo swirling on its way up. You're like, oh, God. Fuck. Second yeah. podcast to open with a bit of poo chat. Oh, yeah. mate. Yeah. So that was. And then a the lot. third one, we were downstairs and I've, he was in the room and I've just come back upstairs to get something. And as I opened the door, he's at like the window being like, hi, uh, could you just show, just need someone to come and, and 
clog the toilet. I'm like, again, Tobler? What the fuck's wrong with you? He's like, oh, I um, I was brushing my teeth and then I like gagged and threw up. You're like, no, you didn't, dude. <laughs> what? I gagged yeah. and threw up? Yeah, no, you just clogged it with a big what old What's he doing? Deep throating his toothbrush. Exactly. He, reckon, he brushes his tongue, he reckons. He's deep throating that brush. Yeah, yeah he was yeah, deep yeah. throating. Yeah, he's like, oh. He's a sicker. Like, even if you brush your touch, just, yeah. you don't like, you, I get cleaning your tongue every once in a while. I'm not knocking that, but like, just tell the truth. You did another and don't big deep, old Boris. Deep throating toothbrush. Like I get, I get you're in Vegas and, and you want to make, mix things up, but yeah. come on. And across. you a little boot in the toilet, stop clogging it. No, nah. that's yeah. that's called a boot a boot. Yeah, a little boot. Actually, that that's definitely not because no. it's all quite uh, flowing. Yeah. No, it's a complete Liquid. fib. It's a complete it's a fib. fib. So his deep throat, deep throat and toothbrush is very strange that's stuff. That's I know. Very. Uh, well. boys, uh, thoughts on both Vegas games. Well, I certainly watched one of them, and uh, that was Manly <laughs> humping the Rabbitohs, who I don't want to say it this early in the season, but put a fucking line through them. Absolute poo. <laughs> Manly looked good, though. Manly looked really, really good. Impressive. Great to get a win the first Vegas game ever. That'll be That's history. You can't take that away from us. Dan. And they, there's a good bounce back from winning the spoon in the preseason trial. Well, we didn't even We don't care, care about, about that. that. We Who had all of our fucking about eggs in Vegas basket. I'm just saying you won the spoon. I didn't say it was a bad or good. No I don't even think they give a spoon in the preseason, no, right? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> they don't. But everyone looked good. Tommy looked great. Burbo. Burbo. Burbo's looking hot. To Burbo's try. looking hot. Ola Kawatu, big, thick Ooh. presence. He's Amole looking, thick. looking Unbelievable. Luke, Aaron Woods, yeah. friend of the show, dear friend of Tom and I's, was saying that he had one he him and Saab had the best preseasons. So yeah. you just know that the man's gonna be a fucking handful this year. A rugby league handful. And oh, how about our, you our little mate him. fucking uh, the rescue dog? The rescue Luke dog, Luke Brooks. We were saying, like, honestly, this bloke has been in a pound for ten years, eleven yeah. years. Or one of those puppy mills where you're just fucking feeding kids like nonstop, having babies, and then we manly seen him and gone, "There's something in this dog." Yeah, there's something. Let's rescue this dog. Now he's in like a fucking really nice home paddock. He's allowed inside, and yeah. you can see sleeps that you on can the s- bed, yeah. mate. Yeah, okay. he gets the good stuff. He doesn't good get meat. that cheap kibble. We're feeding him. Creme de la creme. Smackos for a bit of fun. Oh, He's, fuck yeah. He gets treats. He gets treats whenever he wants. But, I mean, I'm not a fade of working a, uh, you know, a steak on the barbie for the big <laughs> yeah. fella. You know yeah. what I mean? He's getting that level of covenant. He's got he's got two or three walks a day. He gets out into the park. He chases Regular vet balls. checkups. He's microchipped. Oh, like, he's, ch- oh he's chipped now. Of course mate. he's fucking chipped. Of course chipped. he's fucking chipped. Yeah. And you just see it. You see it. Like, he's a, he's a different dog now. Yeah, okay. Different dog. Belly and, rubs and that. Oh, fuck Oh, yeah. belly rubs. <laughs> Kisses, licks, Good hugs. Good boys. <laughs> Good boys. Do you let him kiss your face? Fucking oath. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking oath I do. No, like just here. Underneath the chin. Yeah. No mouth no stuff. No mouth stuff. No mouth well, stuff. Well, he licks his asshole. You know, you don't want yeah. But do you know a dog's mouth cleaner than a, a human's mouth? Well, there you go. Let him, let him lick you. Good for health. So you let him lick around the, the bottom of your chin. 100%. But <laughs> tell me this, Denon. Was or was that not the happiest fucking dog you've ever seen out there? <laughs> ripping and tearing, scoring tries. I mean, the elation. Mm. On the rescue dog's face when he scored that try was pure. Yeah, you know what it looked league. like to me. He almost got a double. It looked like a dog that had come home. Yeah, yeah. you know, it looked like a. It looks like a dog that either was home for a very long time and its owner had got home, or it, you know, there's videos where they reunite. Yeah. and they're going crazy, like jumping up on the owner and yeah. that. That's what it looked like to me. Mm. It was a beautiful. It I will a- say, Brooks. Uh, he can go from one of the most maligned players in the NRL to one of the most loved players. If he has a good season, the, the amount of groundswell of people wanting Brooksy to go well is actually yeah. crazy. Mate, because they recognise they, they, they recognize a mistreated dog. They had him in bars trying to fight other dogs and shit. Like yeah. it was <laughs> barbaric stuff. Yeah. Cockfighting stuff. Yeah. Yes. That's it. That's it. And and now, people love, it. I love a, good, a good boy. I love, people love a good boy and people just want to see a mistreated dog do well and that's what we're seeing mm. i'm not ruling out i'm not ruling <laughs> out denon deli am five eight of the year and i'll be honest with you does he become a cattle dog could be a he could be a, a prize dog we were in the movers and shakers lounge right with the heavies now it was very <laughs> it was very nice of us to be invited by a good friend St Peter Volandis. It was very nice. Very nice. The Tom the Hawks common the, Tom Hawks, the common theme in there, Denon, mm. the chatter yeah. amongst the heavies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Manly wins the comp? That's the hum. That's yeah. the hum behind the scenes. That's yeah. the hum behind the scenes, mate. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't a person in there that wasn't saying it. No, it was Holy the billionaire shit. hum. <laughs> everyone, 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 everyone was humming to the same tune. Manly win the comp. 
at least in the final. That's what the Roosters fans were saying. You'll at least make the final. They wouldn't. They didn't want to concede. Yeah. But vibes are good. Team's good. Burbo looks great. Hamale looks great. Brooks looks great. Cherry looks great. Turbo looks great. Jake Sharp looks injured, great. but he, he'll Nathan come back. Brown looked great. He was one of your best. Dude, front Nathan bowlers. Brown with a bit of cunt off the bench, which is what you need. I yeah. hope I'm allowed to say that on this show. But a bit, of, a bit of cunt off the bench. Is I think, what you need. yeah, I think. Look, the C bomb. It's almost part of Aussie culture. So I I'd think agree with that. I just wanted to make sure that that was okay. for sure. For yeah. sure. Do you want to be uncouth? No, no, no. Of course, of course. But I just can't help but feel like Manly won the comp this year. Like, I keep saying it. <laughs> I know. The Rabbitohs, on the other hand, I, I honestly think, I genuinely think that 36-24 flatters the Rabbitohs. Yeah. You, should, you know what I would say if I was you guys? I'd say the Rabbitohs are, are one of the best teams in the comp and we pounded them. But we just, listen, we're honest, right? We call it as we see it. And maybe it's just that we made one of the best teams in the comp look like absolute beaters, but that is what it is. They were shit out. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Burbo, he's exciting me a lot. Yeah. I think this the motor is the, on him. This is the year of the Burbo. This is the year of the Burbo. Just seeing him as well. Like, we've had run ins with Burbo over the years, given our uh, very close uh, proximity to the Manly Sports Club. He's a brother to us. Seems like he's come out of his shell generally. He was, he was a bit shy. Now mm. he's just, he's a smile on his face. He's fucking ready to go. Seems like he's playing with the confidence of a man who knows he's made of the right stuff. Now, there were whispers that number one fan, Jackman, was going to be over there in Vegas. Mm. Now, whispers have also come out that he ended up not going to support Manly. Mm. Mm. And you guys said before you were going over there, if he doesn't turn up, then you guys officially become number one fans yep. again? Or what, what's, what's going on there? What's the latest? We didn't want to make too much out of it initially because it said that he left for fa personal reasons. Okay, well, so, hope everything's good. But, facts are facts. He wasn't at the game where the number one fans. <laughs> That's what we said before, right? Before it's, it's, we left, look, we before said anything was known, you did say that. And I also said, I believe, check the tapes, that I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't turn up. <laughs> I think I said that. Now, I'm personal sure. reasons, obviously, if there are uh, circumstances in which he literally couldn't come. Oh, one of the goats of Australia. We hope he's... And we're, listen, this isn't a beef between us and Hugh. No. This is just a fight for what's right. <laughs> and what's right is that we are the number one ticket holders above Hugh, given that we were at the game and he wasn't. <laughs> I do also, I did hear somewhere and I didn't follow it up, because who does these days? But <laughs> everyone just reads headlines. Everyone just reads headlines. I, apparently, he was maybe there on the Friday for the huge, the famed Hugh Jackman dinner <clears throat> that we weren't invited to, and then he fucked off on the Saturday. Now, don't know if that's true or not. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. That could put him back into number one. No, fan. because he wasn't at the game there. No, so but facts, if facts. he has personal things going on, but he still made the time to get over there. Yep. And he is Hugh Jackman. Yep. Like, I mean, he's got a bit of stuff going on. Yeah, but it's also easier for Hugh Jackman. I'm confident in Hugh saying Jackman. he's still number one fan. No, 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 no. Definitely. But he was, yeah, but like, he wasn't, but he wasn't at the games, <laughs> though. He wasn't supporting the boys when they needed it. Uh, all right, Roosters defeat the Broncos twenty to ten. Also, this uh, Roosters are our Musashi early season edge. Use code bloke 35 for thirty five percent off uh, any Musashi product except the bundles. So not the bundles, but individual products thirty five percent off bloke thirty five. Why wasn't Manly a Musashi early season edge? Uh, oh, well, just because there was a lot of yarn about how well Manly start the year fast, pretty well, semi fast last year. Mm. Whereas Roosters have notoriously started really slow, so that's why we gave it to Roosters because they're okay. starting fast. Okay, checks out. Sure. I understand that, but it still feels like <laughs> this might be a, a, a dig at your, at your old mates, <laughs> yeah. Tom and Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> um, like Roosters were good. Yeah, they look hot to trot. Roosters look hot to trot. They do. Things are clicking. Are you worried about the Broncos? No, I mean, I just, <clears throat> I don't think people are giving enough weight to the fact that we lost Palacia. Flegler, Catewell, Herbie. And these aren't excuses you're making? No, not at all. Oh, good. But on paper, do you, is that, are we really at the moment as good as we were in the grand final? Like, of course not. Mm. It's going to take time. Mm. I think by around 13, 14, some of the younger boys are going to take that mantle, but it'll take a little bit of time okay. to, to step into it. Tell you who did look good for you, at least from what I remember of that game. <laughs> uh, Reese Walsh. He's Looks hot. like he's got quicker. He's gotten quicker, he's gotten hotter. 
like the, him out the back of shape, I believe you call it in the game rugby league. Yeah, yeah. He was so fucking fast. That grubber kick he put in at so speed. You're like, what the fuck that, is going on? I needed to watch the replay a couple of times. Just like, to, how did he to get to out of Suwali's fucking hands? Mate, unbelievable. Like Suwali like, went like this and was like, what the fuck? Where the fuck did he go? Where are you, mate? Unbelievable. The guy is an absolute freak. Speaking of getting hotter as he ages, Joey fucking Manu. Oh, yeah. Oh, Flip that Park pass. City. Ooh, that whole game. Damn. That whole game. See what he did with Selwyn Cobbo? Mate. Unbelievable! Didn't. You didn't. Well, oh. I don't remember it. Well, there are two if, if you thought the Suwaliki step was crazy, go watch Selwyn. He literally falls over, um, getting stepped by Joey Manu. Uh, he was unbelievable. There were some big hits across both games as well. There were some real big fucking hits on where you like bell ringers, Tom. Bell ringers, and like also a bit of claret. Oh yeah. There was a bit of blood. I was like, if you're a, if you're, I imagined PVL. I didn't ask him this directly because he was probably uh entertaining a billionaire but like if you want americans to see how fucking hectic the sport is and everyone's like no pads no helmets whatever it's like seeing like jared croker get his head split the fuck up in the stuff. earliest part of the game and just keep playing and then the wrap league. him up yeah. do you reckon he went out like in you know in wrestling how they have those little pockets of blood and they're yeah. like they gave one to each player and were like you need to just pop it so that except the jared no uh, we've seen we've oh, seen, seen oh, it? yeah, yeah it's, it's is a like serious it's fucking huge. It's a serious That's split. Horny stuff. Yeah. Horny serious stuff. split. Would have been smart though. I was up footy if everyone had a little pocket of blood they could pull out. Go, that would have been. By smart. the end of the game, everyone's covered yeah, in blood. Just covered yeah, in yeah, blood. Yeah. That actually would have been. That's hilarious. actually pretty funny. <laughs> um, just a vial of claret. Yeah. Just everyone walks off just fucking covered in blood. Yeah. Um, well, um, Roosters were good though. From what? From from again, memory. Like they were. They were better than I expected. They're the best they've looked in a very long yeah. time. Very long time, and they were missing Hargreaves. They were missing uh, Billy Smith, who would. I mean, they got a crazy Billy Smith replacement. Billy Smith and Crichton. Uh, Crichton wasn't picked. No, he just wasn't picked. Yeah, Connor Watson wasn't picked. Egan Butcher wasn't picked. Uh, Is that surprising that Gussie didn't get Dom picked? Dom Young wasn't available. Yeah, uh, I just, mate, you look at that side on paper is fucking unbelievable. Yeah. Like, it's almost, you know, I feel like. 2018 and 19 has almost excused them for five years or so. I know they've had injury years that have been really bad, but I, I do feel like we're looking at that Rooster side going, oh, they want to, you know, back-to-back -back comp. So it's, you know, they're, they're still one of the better, like it's okay that they aren't winning comps now, but with that side on paper, they should be essentially in prelims or grand finals. I, but no, I, I still think that people, the common feeling is that they've underachieved. Yeah, last, I just don't think they get last that few much. Years. Well, think about the heat that was around, like probably the Rabbitohs, the Broncos the year before, yeah. the mm. Eels to a degree. They haven't missed the finals, though, have they? They just scraped in by they, the skin of their sacks. They sacks scraped last in, year. Um, but they just haven't fought a shot since the back-to-back yeah. -back premierships. Even Radley said, like, we have to, we had to admit to ourselves that we are not as good as the team of eighteen, nineteen, and we need to be, you know, kind of back there. Yeah. Uh, but they looked the best they've looked, and I, I think the way the Roosters' season will work is they'll start the year strong, first ten rounds, probably get a bunch of wins together, they'll have, there'll be a lull mid-season and then they'll go that late charge that they usually kind of do towards the end. Well, year. that's, the, that's the, been the big issue for the last few seasons is that they've started like a bag of shit and then they've got to, <laughs> like, honestly, and then yeah, they've got to sure. win fucking 10 in a row just to make the finals and then by the time you get there, it's, yeah. it's, it's, You're fucked. the damage is done. You need two shots at it. You need to be in the top four. 100% you need yeah. to be in top of the four, but if you've been essentially playing elimin elimination football yeah. for two and a half months, it's going to be hard. By the time you get to finals, you're, you're completely fucked. It's Especially when, if you've got to get through a final series against Broncos and Panthers, mm. you need two cracks at that. Because it's like to go bang, bang and knock, like beat both of them. Yeah. Fuck, it's going to well, be tough. Well, no, no one's won from the outside of the top four since, what, 95? Dogs. Some Some like, Do we not far out. think that, I like, I mean, just back to the Crichton thing, though, like that's mm. not a great sign for him in terms of his year to not be making the first round does is it and they're like just stacked though like yeah, he, but he's, he's, he was an origin and australian rep like two years ago so has sure. he fallen off that much do you reckon no i don't think he's fallen off that much it's just a matter of like like for example he probably start in nearly every other team in the comp yeah the problem is i've got satili who was an absolute throbber Sue wong one of the best young back rows, literally in the competition victor. uh nat they got obviously victor at 13. nat butcher was one of their best players last year it's just mm. a hard team to make yeah who would be really so Who's outside of Nat on the bench? Would there be another spot from there on the bench where you could, that you could nah, pick him up? You, or you, is need, he sort of you probably need your utility, which was Sand and Smith, and then you'd probably need a big, big, big boppers that can go through the yeah, middle. Okay. Do you reckon they'll um, stick with Sand and Smith or go to Connor Watson? Connor Watson. Um, oh, it's a tough one. It's a really tough one because Sand and Smith is this young, you know, really good player coming through. The more game time you get, he can cover probably the seven and six jersey probably a little bit better than Connor can. But I would say Connor Watson's ball running is a bit more explosive. Um, 
Connell was really good in the trials. I think it might just be match fitness with him. So yeah, he hasn't look, played for a while. The fact like, like this is the Roosters. The they got this two 14s. That would probably be a 14 for nearly any other club. Yeah, like yeah. it's crazy how stacked they are. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great games. Absolutely loved them. Fuck, it was so good. Were you frothing at home? Oh, it was the best. It was so good. And even just like, it sounds weird, but even just like the lighting on the screen, you can. it's different to what you're used to mm. in Australian stadiums. Yeah. Because obviously it's closed in and all these like little tiny details that are different in America. They're not huge, but it just gave you this very different vibe on TV. Just yeah. like the vibe. big screens, seeing like oh, the, the, the club's logos fucked. and yeah. shit up on the big screens and all the banners around, like all the digital banners around the thing. It was it was just a wild. Honestly, and I've, I, I thought just on video, I thought I saw the most fans there, but honestly, which team brought the most fans over do you think? Um, probably the Broncos. Yeah, I thought I when I put I put this I on say. TV, it looked like mostly, as in not mostly. Sorry, they had the most fans, not by a huge margin, but and I didn't know whether it was my bias, like picking it up because mm. I'm looking for those walking jerseys. in the ground. I would have definitely seen more Broncos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually don't even fucking know. Didn't even think about it. No, I did not think about it. I wonder, uh, and that's our kind of next question: What teams do you reckon should go next year? Well, apparently thinking, it's only two. Well, apparently teams it's just two. Year. Can you check that? Oh, I really? Sh- I looked that up. Some I swear I saw that in an article somewhere, Matty. Two teams and what World Club Challenge or something maybe. But I was saying, no, he was saying that, that the what the thing that I read be- was two teams moving forward, and that could only that says to me it would be a cost thing, the cost of taking. You've got to have more than one. That's game, what I man. would have thought. I would have seen. I like, could have, I could have misread that, yeah. but I swear that's what I read. I think you're definitely going Penrith. You're not going to matter. You're not going to fill a stadium out if it was just one game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking yeah. as well. If it's just one game, like you're, you're never going to fill sixty. What is it? Sixty, seventy. And the, and the like thing 80, with 80, you're taking 80, new teams every time is that you're then just getting that fresh injection of fans coming over. But I reckon Penrith for sure, Parramatta for sure, maybe Storm, uh, Dogs, Storm. Storm. I don't know if the Storms fans, but I guess they're Newy. We were saying Newy, that flock. Mate. Fans I reckon New Zealand fans would flock. Yeah, At the moment, right now, I reckon yep. Kiwi fans would go skits. I reckon they should do a World Club Challenge there. Like that would give Pommies an excuse to go over there. Aussies an excuse. Well, plus you could one do game. you could do that in one game. Yeah, I, that's what I reckon they can do. And maybe a, a women's game because I, I personally believe our women rugby league is better than any other female sport. Like it's the better best product. But would to that watch. be your second game? Or no, no, that wouldn't be my second game. It'd yeah, be like right. three games, yeah. I think. Um, and it's it's a good way to potentially if you do get. A female market over there like maybe that's the way in you just yeah. you just don't know yeah uh, that's a good point it's the way yeah i mean i think gurus even said like he saw so many english fans over there yeah. world club challenge because then all of a sudden it turns i think it would make it a bigger deal i think it would begin to matter more because it's like on our round it's a bit one it's a bit limp at the moment it the is world cup challenge. to us anyway yeah. i know english fans yeah. love it shout out to guru as well for what i think was potentially the dribbliest uh content over there and he's just going around vegas and just like adding <laughs> The, the rest of like a word, you'd find like a hotel or something, a word, and then just add the rest of it to make a rugby league player's name. <laughs> like he was just doing this series of them the whole time. And every time I'd see it, I'm like, that is so funny. There was a friendly. lot. And also some were like, that's pretty that's Some pretty of them creative. were pretty funny. Yeah, no, no, they were good. Creative. They were good. It was just so fucking dribbly. Um, Matt, yeah, look, all the content was so good. That's, what I will say though, if you boys and Guru didn't go over there, like content would have still been good, but nowhere near the same as, as like actual content creators going over there. Um, thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Uh, can't find anything on two teams at all. The only thing that was close to that was like someone suggested that the winning team stay and two new teams go, but I couldn't find anything on just two teams. Going I just reckon they rotate. It, it, se- it seems yeah. like Ebdo says it's the same criteria as this year, so okay. I think it's gonna be. Fun. Well, that's good. Yeah. If you could go, if you go rotate four plus a World Club Challenge, Tully stuff, Tully stuff. But they're definitely they're definitely rotating the team. Yeah, so that's for, for sure. sure. Yeah. That sure. makes sense. Uh, now, also, the rest of the round continues tonight, and you can watch all six games live and ad free on KO Sports and on 4K. All she was good stuff watching uh, on 4K last week. Uh, don't forget as well, Wednesday, March 13, rising Superman and weight contender Sam Goodman returns to the ring in hopes of continuing his run for a world title shot. He faces Mark Schleaves in the co main event, favorite, fan favorite Isaac Head Splitter Hardman faces Venezuelan. Andre Saavedra, all of the exclusive, uh, exclusively on main event with KO. You don't need a KO subscription. The link will be in the show notes. I'm going to be going down to the Goodman Schlieb's fight. I cannot wait. It is going to be it's, it's great, good, honest Aussie boxing. So make you sure to be, tune in. You're going to be in the ring. No, not in leg? the ring. Not in the ring. Um, Disappointing. Just talking boxing, I guess. You're going to be talking. Well, I, I think so. You're you getting know. on the. Well, look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah. Also, don't forget. 
Kimmy Zoo fighting at the end of this this month in Vegas. But so you're going to be down there talking on camera? I think so. Oh, like only for like a quick interview, only a quick interview. You're going to be taking anyone through their fucking paces? Yeah, I might just. I might walk the fans through fucking some insights. Yeah, like head movement. Yeah, and just little little details I've picked up in watching a bit of tape in boxing. You know? Yeah, that'd be because nice. Because you, mate, you you get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. From a from a purely training perspective, Who'd I get it. Who'd win out of you and Tim Zoo, you reckon? Look, I reckon he'd be lucky to last three. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> you, you, you'd give him three, some trouble. Three pushing it? Three's pushing for him. So you, yeah. got a, you got a bit of world champion in you? I got a bit of world champion in me. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. When we were over there, I was wearing one of those like fucking... I don't know, I guess it's like what their trainers are wearing for like when they're hitting body shots and he's, and he's punching yeah. me with it. And I'm like, initially they were like, George Rose was like, uh, wear the smaller one. And initially I was like, oh, okay, maybe yeah, we'll sweet. wear the smaller one. But then I was like, nah, fuck. Or they had to go find it or some shit. And I was like, just give me the big one. Fuck me, dude. Like, yeah, you no. feel it. He was like just ja – now obviously part of that is my physical conditioning. I know that. But just jabbing me almost. And I was like, this could almost wind me. Like – People, it's. I, I reckon until you watch boxing in real life, you don't know realize how much it like because it, it, they got the gloves on. It almost looks soft, like mm. the gloves make it look like on a, almost mm. a pillow's hitting. Yeah. But until you actually get punched, you're like, oh it shit! It is not at all. It is not that. I saw at some all. MMA fighter get asked recently where it was like, would you prefer to get punched in the face or kicked in the body? And it's like, he was like, face. dude, punching in the face is yeah. not that bad. Compared to kicking it's the body. It's like getting kicked in the body is fucked. Like body shots are yeah. fucked. Getting yeah. in the face is like, obviously that isn't great, but like. Well, if, especially a liver shot, your whole body literally shuts down. Can't like, imagine literally. that. Like, ooh. Uh, so make sure it's the end of March. Tim Zhu fighting Thurman. Easily his biggest fight. Thurman coming off a, yes, it's been a bit of a long layoff, but he is coming off a win recently. And he's a very unorthodox fighter compared to Timmy, who is, I wouldn't say orthodox, but he's, he's not necessarily unorthodox. So it's a huge, huge he's step just up docs. to Timmy. He's doxed. He's doxed. He's doxed. Don't he's dox doxed. people. Don't dox people, but he's, he's doxed. doxed. He's what, doxed. what is doxing people? I've never fucking It's like known. giving out their personal information pretty much. Okay. Don't dox him. Don't dox people. Don't dox him. Actually, if I wouldn't dox Timmy, he'll fucking bash no, he'll you up. fuck you up. So oh, do he's the last bloke I'll be doxing. Don't he'll dox him. Fuck you up. But he'll dox you. He could dox you because no, that's what he, he, that's well, how he dox. <laughs> um, so make sure to tune into that. Uh, okay. AJ Brimson has quoted, been said, he's quoted saying, I still don't quite look at myself as a center, but I'm pretty keen to be the best center I can. I'd be lying if I said I was stoked to be changing position. <laughs> but again, these things happen in footy. If it means we win, it's all worth it. I definitely don't want to be stuck out on the edge there. I think Manu is a good example of someone that can still have a massive impact on the result of the game in the center position. How do the Titans get the best out of AJ? And also, they have just released pre-orders of Prince of Palmy, which is Palm Beach, shirts with AJ's face on it. So go to the Gold Coast Titans Instagram. I've already purchased my shirt. Uh, and grab one. So wait, they're they're like slinging uh, merch, are they? Like yeah. bespoke merch. Bespoke merch. Fuck yeah. Titans. Like, good on it. Prince of Palmy. Uh, thoughts, boys? So is this Des just going up there and, and going, I know Jaden Campbell's not playing this weekend, but just going, he's the man for the one jersey. As in Jaden is the man? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. He, I think that Cause was, I mean, like, because AJ was still playing fullback last year, right? Yeah, and I think so. I, this is a Des decision, or is it always, was AJ always sort of slated to be moving into the centers? You were Des. Point? Pure Pure Des. Des. Yeah, okay. This is Des through and through. Yeah. And I think he's basically got, looked at it and gone, like, well, the way I'd see it is like, Brimo is the best fullback at the club, in my opinion, but he can play multiple positions and he can't afford to have Jaden Campbell not in the starting side. Yes. And also, he can't be number 14. So it's like, how do you get both blokes in the side? The only way you can do that is by putting Brimo at centre. Mm. Uh, it's going to be, yeah. Brimo, though, apparently doesn't look at himself as a centre. He doesn't look at himself the same. What? No, as, as a center. center. I th and I think that's that's part of it, right? Like mm. if you look in the mirror and you, don't and see, you see a fullback, how the fuck? how can you play center rugby league? Yeah. Do you think he needs like the guy from Cool Runnings, Desi, to go? You've, you've got pride. You got you're a center. Get in his yeah. ear like that. I almost mirror? I almost think he needs the, like the, queer eye for the center guy. Or something, like, <laughs> to come oh, in and, you know, okay. Just get him looking oh, like and feeling that. and dressing like a center. Do centers dress differently, or is it like that coach whisperer guy who you know who comes in? Oh, and the yarns, snake oil, the snake oil salesman. You need someone selling him some. Snake the bloke oil. that worked with for the roosters. Yeah, well, the one percent guy yeah, who walks around with premiership rings. Yeah, just walk. Yeah, employ him to walk behind you, going, "You are a center. You're a center. You are a center. You are a center." Stand next to him in the mirror. You Maybe you got to ride it on the mirror. Don't forget, you're actually a center. Yeah, yeah, ride on your arm and shit, because he could find himself, you know, middle of a game. Forget. So you reckon the good old strapping tape on the wrist and write, "I'm a center." Instead of fold some cunt, yeah. write, "I am a center." Yeah, I yeah. like that. I like that. Because otherwise, you might find him fucking 
just at the right at the back at some points of the game. Be like shit, I find him in the front row. He's yeah, just well, lost. Yeah, well, exactly. He doesn't know what he's doing. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be the worst thing I think for AJ to maybe go and do a couple of days a week on the tools, just as a general labourer. You know how centers are a bit more grunt work. Yeah, they're not okay. as flashy. Joey Manu is an exception, obviously, mm. but typically your centers are just grunt work guys. Yeah. You know, yeah, tough okay. stuff. With, with, a with, with a bit of flash, with a little bit of flash. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm saying he, he doesn't. A few days, not not a, a whole few week. days, yeah. just a couple of days yeah, a week yeah, on okay. the tools. Not every day. Also, not stoked to be changing positions. Do we get him to start being a bit more adventurous sexually, <laughs> <laughs> so that then when he has to change positions yeah. on the footy field, he's yeah. a bit more comfortable? Yeah, yeah. Show him some reverse cowgirl going. Look, get in there. Like you this can is, this, enjoy you can fuck, this can be awesome. Dude. Look, yeah. yeah. Look at the benefits of changing position. Yeah, that's right. Um, he needs someone needs to mow AJ Kama Sutra. <laughs> There you go. That's what he needs. You reckon Desi should sit him down and take him through it? Page by page. Yeah, show me how it's Position done. by position. Mm. Mm. Not just showing that you can change positions, but that they but, but can that, feel good. Yes. There's merit to them. Yeah. So maybe Because you don't want to change life. positions for changing positions' sake. No, because then you, you fuck to, the rhythm up. Yeah. That's right. It needs to add. Honestly, I think that's a uh, really healthy idea. Yeah. For AJ to be aware of the benefits of changing position, and it does it does go like Gold Coast vibe, the glitter strip? Yeah, it does all kind of the oh, synergy there. Yeah. The synergy well, there. Because you yeah. know what it is, AJ's like I'm fullback, I'm a doggy guy, I love it, and and then he's looking at his <laughs> guys. I actually think you're more than just a doggy guy. <laughs> but he, but he, but AJ's of the opinion that he's been moved to missionary early, <laughs> and he's just he's not happy about yeah. it. Obviously. And he, maybe we need to but show there's him. There's value in missionary. There's a plenty of value, value in missionary. In missionary. There's plenty of value. Don't knock the something that's been around for ages. But just because you play Tried center, test it. just because you play test center though, doesn't mean you got to you got to be missionary. You can exclusive. roam. You can roam. That flick pass from Joey Manu was fucking pile driver stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 legs over that fucking shoulders. Yeah. Get into it. That's it. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's ass play. But. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's Rimmy stuff. <laughs> that, well, look, that has been solved. Problem solved. Problem solved. Uh, what Brimo, next? Dally M Center. If yeah. he wins it. There you go. You can well, come back to this conversation. Yeah. It's because Desi gave him a, <laughs> come a, a book. little bit of a book. <laughs> Highlight it for him and shit. Try yeah. this out, it's mate. It's Kama Sutra. It's Indian, correct? I don't know. I'd assume so, but I don't know. Can you Google that, please? Um, did I think that I'd ask that question today? or? Well, you should always expect that something like that will be coming up. And I wonder how many – is it all moves in there or do they leave some on the chopping block? Like what? Oh, uh, right. Who vetted them? I'll get back to you on that, but yes, it's Indian. Okay. It's Indian, so it's Indian, Indian, eh? I'm so shocked they, you don't know, okay. Matty. As a scissor, as a yeah, as a scissor king. king. You've I definitely rifled it through it. Yeah. That's how I only need one. one. Uh, I only looked at page That's one. a good bit question, of AJ though. Back, though. Who vets that and gets to say what is good and what is Who not good? Who made it? Because like, I'm sure there are some, some positions that – should be in there that aren't, and there are some that are in there that, you know what, this doesn't live up to the, the standard of I think Sutra. there's, and I mean, I'm just assuming here, but like the person who wrote it was maybe like a, a weapon in their field, best in class sort of stuff. Yeah, right? you can't be writing books like that without experience. And I, I mean, I wonder though as well, is, 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 it, is it staged, the Kama Sutra? Like, do you sort of reach a point <laughs> beginner of enlightenment? Exp- yeah, expert. like there's beginner, which is your missionaries, your doggies, your conventional posies. <laughs> but then by the end of it, it's like, now you wrap your legs around your head. <laughs> yeah. By the end of the book, you can't have tight hip flexors. No, you, know you need I mean? to I, be there's nothing stretched I, could use I reckon like by the end of the, the book, you reach enlightenment, which is just making love to yourself. Yeah, you end up being able to just fuck yourself, <laughs> which don't we all want to do? What's tantric sex? Oh, isn't that like, yeah, like holding, like edging pretty much? Yeah. Edging oh, for I'm the, pretty edging sure it's like you maintain like the feeling of an orgasm, isn't it, for like a fucking super long time? Oh, which so you I, just, just, I don't know how you'd handle that. It'd be intense. Look, it's edging from a thousand years ago. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, ancient, so. edging. Yeah, ancient, <laughs> edging. ancient edging. Ancient <laughs> edging. So you pull out, give her a rest and put her back in. <laughs> That's tentric. Oh, uh, tale as old as time. Major team talking points. Cam Munster is named, but he's in doubt for re-aggravating. And Fuck. guys, can you walk through this? Because you've experienced this before. Mm. A key player, star player, slipping in the shower. It that happens. Just- See, look. <laughs> When it when it happens to one of your Queensland players, yeah, it's a, he slipped in the shower. When it happens to, <laughs> to heart and soul, never yeah. told a lie in his life. <laughs> Alter boy sort of stuff. Alter boy, Turbo, Tommy Jaboyevic. Oh, no, that can't be true. That's bullshit. Like, which one is it? <laughs> I'm, I'm not believing the shower slip. You don't believe that Munster You don't believe he slipped in the shower. I don't believe he slipped in the shower. Wow. wow. I do. Maybe I believe you can. It says groin too. Come, suture stuff. What do you, well, fuck, but you certainly could have been doing that. People but. slip in the shower, though. You didn't realise that. So showers can be slippery. Oh, I, I get that. Especially if there's shampoo or a bit of soap at the bottom, she's slippery. Look, I, I get that, but it's like, 
you know, slipping enough to injure yourself? Question actually, hectic. just a shower question. How often are you scrubbing your feet when you're in the shower? Like, oh, you wash your body and shit, but how often do you-, do you how I don't do you, scrub my feet. Right, Never. I don't really either. Mm. But there are times where maybe like, say I've been, you know, in like my feet are actually dirty, where you give them a scrub. That's when Slip City could happen in the show. Okay, Slip City. So it could be that this guy, uh, this guy being Cameron Munster, he might have been, um, yeah, could be he could have been scrubbing his feet. Okay, that's the only that's the only excuse I think to slip in the shower. He, he, well, he might have been playing, you know, a bit of touch, barefoot touch, and his feet are fucking dirty as shit. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> okay, other okay. thing, you don't seem to be a believer. Yeah, no, what do you, you think's don't. happened? Look, uh, he's look, a Queensland. If a video oh, came right. out with him racing someone, I would be like, wow, that's really interesting. But has there been a video? Of him? Uh, if it does, if right. it does. Well, that's a, it's irrelevant, though, right? <laughs> like... That video was also days before he slipped in the shower. <laughs> yeah. So the and timing is completely wrong. And he was running within himself. So you believe the Queensland wholeheartedly? You're, you're all in. I like to take players at their word. Mate. That's what I like to do. <laughs> yep. We made a career. I, I didn't know that he was at risk of of uh, of not playing. playing. No, he's definitely did, at risk. Well, have, that's annoying. Because you have tipped them. Well, because I got off the plane, Tom, hadn't read the team sheet, hadn't read any <laughs> information, went off vibe, he was named, he's in the team. So I pick, I pick the Storm to win. I still think they can. It's like I was going hard at the Titans line oh, and then finding out David Fafita and fucking Jaden Campbell. I'm yeah. like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Whoops. Great stuff. Whoops. Yeah, yeah. yeah look, I, I tell you what, a bit of, bit of value in the Dragons getting up. That's <laughs> what people up. are saying. And yeah, that's got fucking me fucking worried. Off. Okay, yeah. okay. But you got to hold firm, don't you? you Desi, do. Desi love the boys up. Desi, okay. Desi, Desi love the boys up. Desi, okay. uh, Joey Chan uh, earns a starting spot in the edge from Melbourne. I was surprised with this because I don't even did he even trial there. But actually, yes, he did in that last game, I think. But I like this from a Storm because he's big and explosive. First time I'd ever heard of him was yesterday on about even when Rue mentioned his name. I was like, usually, you know, like. You've heard about, mm. especially at Melbourne, you usually have heard about someone yeah. they're bringing through. I'm like, I didn't never fucking heard of this guy. Yeah, he, he, I think he went to the Super League for a little bit, came mm. back, and he played a couple of games last year. Um, so that's great. Little I named, yeah. despite being in doubt with shoulder, will be his first game since grand final. Yeah, what's happening with his shoulder? Well, it seems to be talked about a lot. Well, yeah. he had surgery. He, he had surgery. Like, but I mean, year. like, is he, is, he, is he playing, is he not? Is he playing, is he not? In doubt, just like Munster. Like, is it going to be too soon, not too I, I think that they'll Is this just the, them playing Fox, or is it right on the line, do you think? I think it's right on the line, but also a bit of Fox. Like, they would know already. Yeah. Because, like, for example, if you're Loi or you're Munster, key players to those two teams, you don't rush them. Like, if you're heading... If you're two days before a game and you're unsure whether they're ready to go, it's round one. Do not play them. Give them that extra week. Uh, and I think that, you know, if if they are publicly saying, oh, we're unsure, that's because they're playing possum with the other team so they don't know how to prepare. Like, is Munster going to play? Is he not going to play? But they would know internally whether they're going to play or not, for mm. sure. For sure. There's no way you'd be doing fitness tests on key players in round one the day before a game going, oh, is he there? That's craziness. <laughs> Madness. Round one. Like, no. you go, mate, you need another week. Uh, Crichton named at centre. Thoughts on this? I'm so shocked at this. Shot. I was surprised. And he took cher cherry spot, essentially. Bronson Cherries. Yeah, pretty much. Well, you've got... Because Kiraz is the other yeah, yeah. So he, yeah, so you've got Cherry that would be sitting out. And Taft's fullback, is it? Taft's fullback. I thought Crichton was signed as a fullback. That was just that like was, put out from... That was put out to make it like he was leaving Penrith for that and, and Penrith can't offer him that. But that's yeah. not true. He didn't leave Penrith for that. Right, okay. He left for Cheddar? <laughs> no, he didn't leave him. He... Well, my my understanding whispers is that he barely got offered anything from Penrith. Is that right? It would be that. I salary, have nothing is, to confirm that. Salary cap constraint. Yeah, like for example, if you're Penrith, from a Penrith perspective, you've got Critter, who is worth like fuck six, seven hundred, eight hundred k, or you've got a young fellow that you can put on one hundred and fifty, two hundred k. Um, that's that's going to be not as good as Critter, but with the system you've got and the key players and key positions all locked down. It's just a tough – that's like the decision you need to make. Uh, you know, I had heard Critter was willing to take as low as possible, but I think that there's a minimum because he's an origin player, you can't pay him anything less than that. Yeah. Um, so this idea that he would just offered was this mozza from Bulldogs, I don't think that's true. It's more along the lines of, you know, I think the Penrith Pants looked at it and said, we can pay this young fella, barely you're not, nowhere near as much as Critter. Mm. We can't afford to offer him anything. But if, if, it's, if we say to publicly, we haven't offered Critter mm. – you know, yeah. anything or, or, you know, we offered Critter 200K or whatever, then they look bad because they're like offering Critter to, you know, so yeah, that's what I, that's how, what I think happened. How, how much do you reckon clubs and especially successful ones 
uh, like Penrith would have like roadmaps into the future in terms of like Crit is someone we can let go in a couple of years. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, oh for we, sure. We, we, Luai is someone we can let go of in a couple. Like, do they, they would, are they making those like tw- decisions 12 months out or is oh, it like, like they'd be looking like way further down the track? Five, five yeah. to 10 years. Yeah. They would have like, you know, this basically this, this guy's is- coming through, you know, if he, you know, Cleary will be 32 by that age. This guy will be this age. Like they plan ages in advance. The hard thing with salary cap is you don't know who's going to explode though. Yeah. Like someone could kill it. Yeah. Could change everything. I tell you what, he's an outstanding center though. <sighs> Fucking outstanding. Had he even, has he ever played at fullback? Has he got much experience there? Yeah, yeah he's played a little yeah. bit there. Oh, like I, the thing is, is people that say that he's definitely not a fullback. It's like, I haven't seen enough of him to say that. Like, yeah, that's what I mean. Sometimes he's you need ripped longer. a couple of times for Penrith as well playing fullback. Yeah, he's, he's played really well. And other times he's, he's played, played just a, good, not yeah. so well. Like, so people that go, nut nah, definitely not a fullback it's like it's been he's played like maybe 10 games there maybe 10 games like you need longer than that to know whether someone's a fullback at he's 22 or 23 years old young as shit mm. uh, okay now Fuck into he some he's young he's in yes. he's 22 23 jesus he might even be 22 uh six games at fullback six, six games so how old is he uh one sec what was the win loss record in that those games what been, i think five five and one 23 23. 23. That's actually fucking rocking. Three time premiership was, winner, four time grand final player, state right. of origin. Fuck. Yeah, done everything. So, led Samo- helped lead Samoa to the that World, World Cup, Cup final. final. Yeah, five five wins, one loss. Yeah. At fullback? Yeah. Yep. Jeez, that's not that fucking bad, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that Brooks is our menu log, hungriest player. Use code Brooks, B R O O K S, for free delivery. And you also get a chance to win a $200 menu log voucher. So that's use code Brooks, B R O O K S. O O K S for free delivery or a chance to win plus a chance to win two hundred dollar menu log voucher. Also a reminder, the LDV T sixty has one hundred and sixty watt uh, kilowatts of grunt, which makes it one of the most powerful units in its class. LDV T sixty power player of the week was Amole Olakawatu. We'll do some <laughs> predictions. Knights v Raiders. Knights for sure. Yeah, yeah love the Knights. Knights tonight. Knights tonight in front of their uh, their home faithful Warriors Sharks. Warriors. Warriors. Cheeky Warriors Sterling Plus. Just throwing it out there. Just a cheeky one. Okay. okay. Storm v Panthers. I'm going to go Panthers. Storm because of the round one record. Panthers. Storm with the line. It's four and a half. Don't mind that. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that either. I don't mind that. Because as I, if they're losing by a lot at home round one. If they lose, it'll be by a little bit short. Yeah, it'll be fuck all. And I just, I just, it's what, 2001. The record's a record for a reason. They must have elite pre seasons. I'm just, I'm going Storm. Panthers. Okay, Saturday, Eels versus Doggies. This is a fucking tough game to pick. Really? I'm going here, Sterling Plus. Eels 13 plus. Yeah. I've picked Bulldogs. Uh, I think I picked Eels, but obviously, you know, we don't. Have, oh, but I don't know. I don't, but I don't, I don't know where the Eels are at. Yeah. I don't know where the Eels are at. And also the Bulldogs could come out. That's it. And I don't know where the Bulldogs the are at. Yeah, that's, that's the, the unknown. Thing. It's fucking unknown. So you're going Doggies? I'll go Eels. Eels? But I hate Titans, it. Dragons. I've gone Titans. Titans. Titans minus five and but a half. But people, there's whispers out there of the Dragons. I'll tell you what, dogs. I'm going Titans, fucked. but value... Dragons 13 plus. Value. Oh, just just a little 13 plus. Christ. Could you imagine? Cheeky, of course it's value. A cheeky little $5. Cheekily Stewie Diver. Uh, Sunday, Dolphins v Cowboys. I'm, I'm going to go the cows. I'm, going cows. Uh, I'm just going to go the fish then. Fuck it. Okay. And I think the cows start a bit better this year. All right. That's us done and dusted. Make sure to grab a case of bloke beer, get some good day, and we'll go and fuck ourselves. Yoo. Thank you. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.